So welcome back, we day six. With the direct examination of, uh, Afternoon. Mr. Aero. Yes, sir. Detective, before the, the break, we were discussing the, the video uh, surveillance cameras uh, evidence that you obtained. True. You Thirsty boy Correct. again. Yes. Permission to approach. Oh, everybody thirsty. Yeah, these have uh, previously been admitted, but uh, just to help illustrate what is in the video compilation, I'm going to ask you uh, on these exhibits what they contain and if, in fact, you use them to to compress and make the, the compilation. Okay. Okay. Uh, States Exhibit 61. What is that? That is a CVP surveillance. And that you're familiar with that? Yes, I am. Okay, you can turn it over. Uh, it, it looks 65. like toothless. This is uh, the Border Patrol Station. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a Chick fil A, uh, 5118 McPherson. Is that in the video compilation? Yes, it is. Okay. I'll show you State Exhibit 57. Thank you, Polly Esther. What is that? This is video from uh, the Father Magnolia Park. Is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. Okay. States Exhibit 74. Are you familiar with that? Yes, this is a video from Finley Elementary School. Is that in your video compilation? Yes. Okay. States Exhibit uh, 54. Are you familiar with that? Yes, this is video from the Metro uh, T-Mobile. Okay. Is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. Video compilation I'm time. Show you States Exhibit 59. Are you familiar with that? Uh, Melton truck lines. Yes, I am. Is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. Okay. Sheila says another video. Judge is gonna lose it, and this is a compilation. <laughs> I'm gonna show you States Exhibit 60. See, if, do you recognize that? Yes. What is that? It's a video from uh, Los Encinos Town Home. Uh, is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to interrupt you, but um, these were presented by the state. Correct. A few days ago, but they also, not only was it an exhibit in the form, in the number that you say, but there's also, uh, I'm assuming, uh, sub exhibits within each one of them. I just want to make sure that that's, are those the ones? The it, judge is like, cut short, cut short. Because I think each one of them have some sub-exhibits. Mm -hmm. Th these, these are the actual, it's a little different, Judge, because these are the videos taken from different businesses, schools. And I understand that, but each one of them has a sub-exhibit inside of it. The compilation has a sub has a The compilation. Your Honor, yes, some of the videos do have if they, if they contain more than one video, it would be a sub-exhibit. But, but they have a number on them. Yes. Like, for example, if it's 56 or whatever it may be, there's a 56.1, a 0.2, or a 0.3, whatever That's correct. That's correct. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to show you Stakes' Exhibit 73. Do you recognize that? Yes, this is a video from the Alexander High School, 9th grade campus. Okay. Is that in your video compilation? Yes. Okay. I love the sound States of a video compilation. 76. Do you recognize that? Yes, this is a Matias de Ano uh, elementary uh, video. Is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. States Exhibit 53. Yes, this is a video from the Young convenience store. And is that in your video compilation? 64? Yes. States Exhibit 63, do you recognize this? Yes, Iglesia Cristiana Misericordia. That's a video from the church. Is that in your video compilation? Yes. Okay. I'm also going to show you the March State Exhibit 62. Do you recognize Thank that? you, Madam's Mom. Yes, this is video from uh, the Stripes on 2501 East Dome. Is that in your video compilation? Yes, it is. I'm going to show you State Exhibit. 55, is that the numbers on there? I see 55 also. Okay, do you recognize that? 
Yes, this is a video from uh, the fire department uh, main station on Doma. Is that in your video compilation? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you stage six exhibit 481. Do you recognize this? Yes, this is a video from uh, Nye Elementary School and uh, United Middle. Is that in your video compilation? Yes. I'm going to show you stage exhibit 71. Do you recognize that? Yes, this is a video from uh, 210 West Delmore, uh, the HEB. Okay, I'm showing you States Exhibit 67. Do you recognize that? Yes, I do. It's a video from uh, 9219 um, FM 1472, uh, the Stripes convenience store. I'm showing you States Exhibit 79. There's a lot of CDs we got going on here. Yes, this is video from the Barbara Faskin Recreation Center. And is that included in your video compilation? Yes. I'm showing you States Exhibit 77. Why are they still using... Do you recognize that? Yes. Um, that? These. these are... <laughs> this is uh, audio transmissions uh, from the CVP. Uh, okay, customs and Bo Border Protection. And is some of the audio in your compilation? Yes, it is. Is there anything that I missed that is in your compilation that I didn't mention? Or that's a whole pile of it. So I believe that's, that's all. The drawbridge camera, did I show you that one? You did not, but that is included in the compilation. <laughs> oh, what happened to the mic now? What happened to the cord sound? Up, 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 we go. <laughs> Thank you everyone for being here. Please like and share so everyone else can know we live as well if they missed it. Megan says keep it up. Thank you so much. Uh, prior to the break, yeah. I had uh, moved to introduce stage 6 at 5.30, the video compilation. There was no objection. And I just didn't get a ruling on it. Being I believe it was admitted. Okay. Just not admitted now. Thank you. Permission to publish. The video. See, there you go, on a USB. Very nice. A video compilation. While we're setting up the the video, let me ask you, uh, what if any identifying markings did Kilo Unit 66119 have? Um, it had a uh, spotlight on the uh, left uh, fender, left rear fender of the truck. Okay, and was that uh, was that important when you were uh, doing your your canvassing for video? Yes, it was. Um, it was uh, shown on the drawbridge camera, and. Uh, there are videos that uh, show the uh, spotlight as we canvass. Yes. Okay. Where was that spotlight located on the vehicle? It was located on the left rear uh, fender, just behind the uh, the left uh, rear tire. They got him as thin high as a microphone. That on the driver's side. <laughs> that is on the driver's side. Yes. Uh, driver's side rear panel. The driver's side rear panel. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Nice new mic right. for the witnesses. You see that, you guys? I'll play. Uh, Stage 30. Okay, here we go. I just take the text off here. Now, please narrate for us what we're seeing. Okay, this is uh, Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. Uh, at the time, he was a supervisor, Border Patrol agent. Uh, this is his personal uh, vehicle arriving at the uh, Laredo uh, North Station on McPherson. This is uh, the same truck parking by the CrossFit area of the Border Patrol Station. And this is him entering uh, the uh, CrossFit uh, area. cool compilation so far. The time is uh, 5.53 a.m. in the morning. And this is him um, exiting the uh, CrossFit door towards a uh, briefing that uh, he had to do with his uh, personnel. And 
that is a, a photograph of the uh, kilo unit and that's a, a photograph of the uh, spot lab. This is at the Chick-fil-A restaurant. You're going to see a video at the Chick-fil-A restaurant of uh, Griselda arriving in the white Mercedes. Zelda and Dominic and Angelica in the car. The last meal. And this is at uh, 8.15, coinciding with the uh, receipt that we found. This is some great map time. So this is uh, the residence of uh, Griselda's friend remember her name? Uh, Adriana Flores. This is the first time we see uh, Griselda arriving at the Father Magnable Park. You know more or less what time she got there? That was uh, approximately at uh, 9.05 a.m. And this is her moving parking uh, in another parking space at the Father Magnum Park. This is uh, at approximately 9.20 a.m. Um, and as you can see, this is the final um, parking spot of the um, white Mercedes, his shoulder with the trunk open and uh, what looks to be the uh, stroller. Awesome. Okay, great. If you can tell us what we're seeing. So this uh, looks to be uh, the stroller and the trunk open to the uh, white Mercedes. Yes, and this is at uh, 9.25 uh, a.m. And uh, that is the last uh, video footage that we see of Griselda walking towards where she was eventually found. This is a, a still image uh, from a drawbridge camera. Um, if you could see this, this circle, that's the area where the drawbridge camera was located. And it's uh, at 10.10 a.m. And what's in this image? That is the truck with the uh, spotlight uh, on the left rear uh, panel. And where is this in proximity to the crime scene? This is very close to the crime scene. If you could see, if you could see the map, Griselda was found uh, south of the island um, on your left side. This is uh, Lowry Road. Does the camera pick them up here? The camera at the Findlay Elementary, yes. The time is 10, 12, 12 a.m. Where are we going from here? 
This is uh, the Mines Road area. I mean, he's traveling south towards Las Cruces. This is, uh, this is Las Cruces. We'll see him at the Melton truck line uh, camera, traveling eastbound on Las Cruces. And as you can see, there is a spotlight. So Las Cruces turns into uh, Shiloh. And this is uh, going to be video from the Encino town homes. What direction is he traveling? In? He's traveling eastbound. And this is video from. Uh, Back then it was uh, the Alexander ninth grade campus. Now it's a, it's a different school. They call it a different school. He's still traveling eastbound and this is video from the Matias de Ano Elementary School. Where do we go from here? From here we're still on, uh, sh on Shiloh. And that is Kirby. And this would be a video from the neighbor of uh, the truck arriving at Burgos' residence. Are you able to ascertain what he's wearing? Uh, yes, he's definitely wearing uh, shorts and uh, would look to be tennis shoes. The time is there a time? Difference here? Is there a time difference here? Yes. So th this was um, determined to be uh, an hour behind. The camera time is an hour behind of the actual time. So this would be actually 10:27 a.m. Yes, this was obtained from the neighbor's house, um, 11, 11 uh, 305, and Burgos' residence was uh, 11307, Pedrosa Street. This is going to be 1036, approximately 10 minutes, um, and that is him entering the vehicle um, without any shoes. How do you know that? Uh, because of the arc, the arch, you could definitely see the arch, and uh, it, it flexes um, how the foot should flex. Uh, I, I really don't know how else I could explain that. Um, as he's getting it, on. As he's getting on. Um, and it's not stiff like, a, like it would be a boot or a shoe. So this is uh, southbound on the loop, loop 20, 
towards uh, Del Mar. And that is video from the uh, Yum convenience store on Bob Bullock Loop. Where does he go from here? So from here he turns eastbound on uh, Del Mar. And uh, we see him on video at the uh, church. At the church? Or at the uh, Casa Iglesia Misericordia. Does you say he's at the church. Does he stop at the church? Or does I'm sorry, no, he doesn't stop at the, the church. That's a video of him traveling on eastbound on uh, Del Mar. Past the church. So you see him at 1041 and he's already traveling westbound at uh, 1046, approximately five minutes. Are you familiar with that area past eastbound past the church? Uh, during the course of my investigation, yes, I made myself familiar with the uh, with the area. And what What's past the, the, the church eastbound, adjacent to the church? Adjacent to the church is a, a, a field of, a, of brush that has a dirt, a dirt roads. Um, if you travel northbound, uh, there's a street. Uh, at that time, they were, they were still under construction with the uh, Alexander Ninth Grade campus, the so new one. So there was construction in that area around that time? Yes, there was. What else was around that area during that time, if anything? Um, there were uh, there were several dumpsters. How do you know? Because we saw them. We we uh, we conducted a search. Uh, upon learning that he he did travel that way. Okay, let's let's stop there for a second. When did you conduct a search of that area? Um, that search. Uh, the search was conducted um, in May, I believe so. Um, it, it, it was a, a lot of time had already passed from the murder, from the day of the murder. Why is that? Um, the way we got here, um, we were following him on video from his house. Um, and the likelihood of him taking Shiloh back was in our mind, but we weren't finding him on Shiloh. Um, so I had requested the um, data from the cell site, uh, from their cell companies, and I also requested the data from, from their Google accounts. Um, when that data came in, was it, w it had already passed a long time. So upon learning with the cell site data, there was a, uh, a location that came out um, here in this area. And um, I contact um, the FBI um, agent, uh, his name is Masters, and I ask him about it. Um, and at the time it was a Nilos uh, GPS. Uh, and I asked him how reliable is a Nilo's a GPS, and he says, he told me that Nilo's GPSs weren't that reliable unless they were supported by video. Hold on a second. So you said it was... Give me a second. Objection. Sustain. So it's not... I'm reliable. sorry, sustain. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you do with the information that ma FBI masters... Uh, provides or what is it that you put together to or what did you use to get to that location uh, so so we uh, started reviewing video from that from that location and um, the church had video um, so upon seeing the truck um, we searched the area and by that time it um, a lot of time had passed so if the murder occurred on April the 9th uh, you say you're already in May by the time you, you get there to search behind the church? Yes. 
Um, so that's three weeks, four weeks? About, yes. Okay. And what are you looking for when you go behind the, the church? We're looking for, for the um, knife. We're looking for bloody clothing that he might have uh, disposed of. Did you find anything? No, we didn't. Anything else significant about the location behind the church? Uh, yes, uh, again with uh, geolocations from Google, we found that on April 7th, he uh, visited that area. So two days before the murder, he was at that area? Correct. Behind the church? Correct. And as far as this, are you familiar with uh, that agent? FBI agent Masters that he did not rely on Nilos. Is that true? Yes. And that he said by itself Nilos is not reliable. Correct. Um, Where are we now? Uh, we are back at the Yum and uh, Bob Bullock. And you could see him um, waiting for the uh, green light. And he's facing westbound now on Del Mar. This is after he left the church. Correct. So now we're traveling uh, westbound on Del Mar. And this is video from the Stripes convenience store on Del Mar. Familiar with the neighborhood behind there? Repeat the question, I'm sorry? Are you familiar with the neighborhood behind that wall? Somewhat, yes. What area of Laredo are we at? What is that neighborhood called? Uh, that would be called the Country Club. Okay. So we are still westbound on uh, Del Mar, and this is video from the fire department station. Still westbound on Del Mar, a video from the Nye Elementary School. And this is going to be video from the HEB on Del Mar and uh, Springfield. Still westbound on uh, Del Mar. So this is back at the Mines Road. and he's traveling northbound on Mines Road. <coughs> this would be Faskin Boulevard. What direction? He's uh, traveling uh, west towards the riverbanks. And uh, this would be um, the dirt trail 
that uh, Border Patrol Bradley Dennison encountered him in, and this would be this would be the World Trade uh, Bridge. Okay, so we were right about that, you guys. Remember? Wow, when he saw him driving erratically. I love this presentation. <laughs> Thumbs up if you love this presentation. I'm loving it. So we're back at uh, Lorry Road, uh, southbound. I'm sorry, a westbound. Burgos asks how to get out of the area. As if he doesn't know. You're just playing dumb. I believe now you will hear the, uh, the audio transmissions from uh, Ronald Anthony Burgos okay. to uh, his uh, Border Patrol station and the discovery of the uh, bodies or the body. What can we hear? What time does he radio in based on the investigation? Uh, you, uh, heard, you heard yeah. his, his, his uh, emergency transmission? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, he radios in at approximately 118 a.m. I'm sorry, 1118 a.m. Yes. Uh, 1118. Thanks, Yolanda. So he departs, just to summarize the video that we just saw, he departs the crime scene area at 10.10 a.m. Correct. And uh, he calls in the, the distress call, emergency call at 11.18. Correct. As part of your investigation, did you gather any digital evidence in this case? Digital evidence. Digital evidence? Uh, yes, of course. Um, okay. What type of digital evidence, if any, did you did you uh, collect? Uh, we collected uh, data from the cell phones uh, located in the trucks, uh, data from Burgos' cell phone, uh, which consists of uh, text messages, phone calls, um, images, screenshots, videos. Uh, we were able to get uh, Facebook data for both uh, Griselda and Burgos. Um, we were able to get Snapchat data from uh, Griselda for Griselda and Burgos. Uh, we also got uh, GPS uh, data. Okay. I approach. This is so brilliant. Thank you. So you got Facebook data? Correct. Text yes. messages? Text messages. GPS? Yes. GPS. Phone call records? Phone call records, yes. Screenshots? Mm. Uh, screenshots. Photos? Photos, yes, correct. Videos? Videos. So Snapchat. And Snapchat, yes. I'm going to show you what I've marked as State's Exhibit 485.3. Ask you if you recognize that. Yes, sir. Yes, I do. I'm going to show you what's been marked for 45.4. Do you recognize this? Yeah, yes, I do. And oh, we're going to see Google searches. depict what's contained within the uh, image? Yes. Has it been altered in any way? No. Okay, so I'll ask you the same Questions for 45.5. Yes. Accurate, is it accurate for you to depict what's contained within the image? Yes. Has it been in any way altered? No. Okay. 45.6. So toasted. 
Yes. Yes. Has it been altered in any way? No. Okay. I'm going to show you 485.7. Me too, April. April says, love this testimony. You recognize this photo? This yes. Yes, I do. And does it fairly accurately depict what's contained therein? Yes. Has it been altered or changed in any way? No. Okay. And 485.8. I love it when they save these like powerful witnesses for last and they've had excellent witnesses yes, throughout. Do. But this is does like, it damn. What's within the image? Yes. Has it been uh, altered or changed in any way? No. Okay. I'm also going to show you stage exhibits uh, 86 and 87. If you recognize those, those uh, USBs. I do. Yes. And what is in those USBs? They contain the uh, cell phone data. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you states exhibit uh, uh, 92, 91 and 92. If you recognize, please. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jane Norris says they got him, surely. There's nothing that proves his innocence here at all. Oh. Yes, I did. And Snapchat. And Snapchat. Snapchat this would be the uh, Snapchat. What number? 91. And what's the other one? The Facebook. The Facebook. Okay. 92. Show us all of that, please. Now, once you got all the information from the digital evidence, from the phones, uh, do you remember who, who dumped the phones? The phones were dumped by, by us, uh, investigator Juan Ruiz. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ruiz? Yes. Remember him, you guys, from day four, I think it was. Juan Ruiz. These are the sources. That's where Eduardo objected. No, uh, no, no, when he had that USB. <laughs> so now we're going to see. Carrie, so he is actually looking paler, huh? From what I understand, only 91 and 92 need to be offered. Is that correct? No, Jen. 86 and 87 are not in. Huh. No. That's right, Pineapple Slushy. Laredo PD showing Slade how it should be done. Man, they're doing so well with this. <laughs> the defense attorney's sweating now. <laughs> they don't know what to do. EB says, so now we know Ortiz was from South Laredo and some Wiggles of those are included in the North other La Laredo. That's already in. Yes. Yeah. That's, what that's what you were going to say. Dia Alanis is smiling now. <laughs> you could see he's very proud of this now. He's like, mm hmm. Oh, yes. And which is that? Eduardo is triple checking. <laughs> he has to, he has to. Gotta do his job. But he's like, oh, my word. <laughs> Dirty Maya says, Hope Coburg of Prosecution is watching. Me too. This was such a mic drop moment. What a presentation. Yeah, that's right. Did you enjoy that presentation, Burgos? We saw you there, 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 and there. Even two days before, what were you doing there? At that church? Iglesia Cristiana. We'll look at the numbers. We'll just look at the numbers. Misericordia. That's the church. What was he doing there? He's heard four.
is Burgos Facebook. 87 is Griselda's. And you're offering those too? 87 is Griselda's Facebook. We're offering those. Eduardo is coming 92 up. is Griselda's Snapchat. 91 is Burgos Snapchat. All right. And, and, and then the... So give me the, okay. So with regard to those first, any objection? No objection. All right. So the rest of it is what? Okay, so those are the... I have no objection. Record. And then what we did, we introduced in bulk, or in, in, in the interest of time, the actual excerpts that we're going to use for this witness, which are 45.3. They look defeated, huh? 45.4. Look. 45.5. Game over, guys. 45.6. 45.7. And 45.8. Those are the ones that we will be using with this witness. All right. Very good. Any objection to that? No objection. Right. They're admitted. Everything's admitted. Without objection. Yes, KK, you drove past the church. We was around that area for about five minutes, and they said there was construction happening around that area, and he was there two days um. before. And also on the day. Mm -hmm. So that's weird. Dinora Vasquez says your Spanish is great. Right. Oh, thank you. I'm going to show you what's been marked for identification. 45.9. Have you seen this video, uh, this before, the CD? Yes. Okay, are you familiar with it? Yes. And, okay, and you know what it is? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Happy then, Hermit. Uh, also, I'm going to show you 45.10. Half in the salmon fund. Are you familiar with that? For Fury. Yes, I am. Okay, and you know the source of that? This is uh, from Griselda's uh, cell phone. Okay, and then over 45.11, you recognize that? Yes. Okay. Vans like it worked out. Fair and accurately depict what's contained therein? Yes, from Griselda's cell phone. 45.12. Yes. You recognize that? Yes. Does that fairly and accurately depict what's contained therein? Yes. Has it been altered in any way? No. And 4513, I'll ask you the same questions. Are you familiar with that? Yes. And is it fair and accurate to pick what's contained therein? Yes. And does it, uh, has it been altered in any way? No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this ma'am's a chick and ma'am. So the source of all of these exhibits I just showed you are from Griselda's phone? Yes. Okay. Yes, he went from Roro -ro to Roasted. <laughs> Objection cake. Bye bye, booger boy. Stay thirsty. <laughs> Proud Mary, give the attorneys microphones. Right? They've got the witness now with that brand new Sennheiser microphone. They've upped their game there on the witness stand, but the, ooh, the attorneys, they're going to need some. Lapel mics. They look, they look overwhelmed and defeated. Oh, shame. Even his objection was like just a half one. They already had a tough job, but now it's just. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What are we seeing? Okay, so based on the, the dump and the digital, the, the dump of all the information that you got from both phones. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Griselda and, and Anthony, Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. And I didn't, I didn't ask you this at the beginning, but uh, of your testimony, uh, do you know who, Ronald Burgos, Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles is? Yes. Do you see him in the courtroom today? Yes, I do. 
Can you identify the clothing he's wearing? Uh, he's wearing the uh, gray uh, coat and uh, the blue uh, shirt with blue tie. And he's the same agent that you saw that morning on April the 9th of 2018 at the crime scene? Yes. The same supervisory Border Patrol agent? Correct. Who found the body? Yes. Okay. Let the record reflect that he's identified Mr. Burgos. So were you able to find a history between the victim, Griselda Hernandez, and Mr. Burgos through the cell, f through the cell phones? Through, yes. Okay. What did you find? Uh, we found uh, several um, screenshots. We found uh, messages between family and friends uh, talking about him um, and the child support. Okay, let's focus in on the child support. Okay. Okay. Did, were you able to determine when uh, Griselda manifested the, the idea of filing for child support? Yes, yes. Um, and when, if any, at any time did you determine that? Based on using the phones. Yes, um, I, I found um, a text message that um, she sent to herself. Um, I guess I would um, describe it as a practice message um, expressing her financial uh, need at the time and that she was thinking of filing uh, for child support. When, when would she have sent what you're describing as a practice message? I think um, this was uh, done in December. Mr. Uh, Bayan. This message was authored on December 7th, 2017. Oh, wow. December. And this is, uh, uh, this is outgoing to who and from who? This is outgoing from uh, Griselda and uh, to Griselda. So I don't even know how to tell you, but I'm honestly thinking of filing child support for Dominic. It has nothing to do with me being a pain or anything, but I just have no idea how I'm going to do it next semester. Money is tight as hell, even with me working, and I don't know how else to do it anymore. I can't anymore, really. I can't, uh, oh. I can't see. I'm sorry. Um, so yes, this is uh, in UTC time, so um. Oh, shame. Yeah, that's how I do it. I'm like, all day long. Seven. Seven a.m. Okay. Were you able to also find any anything else she did uh, regarding trying to locate Mr. Burgos? Um, yes, um, she uh, she searched them up on uh, on some on a website. Uh, I believe it was called uh, Fast People Search. Okay, I'm going to show you 45.4.
looking at here? Uh, this is this would be the uh, the data of the uh, photo taken on the phone. So this is uh, the name, a search uh, from her phone um, of Ronald A. Burgos and uh, with his uh, address on Pedrosa Street. Did she conduct any other search of uh, any of his other family members? Yes, uh, she uh, searched up his wife. Okay. And what's your state to do at 45.5? This was taken from her phone? Yes, it was. Okay. What did she do uh, on this uh, search? Uh, she searched uh, Amy Rosado. And who is Amy Rosado? Uh, Amy Rosado is uh, Burgos' wife. I hope she has all new email addresses now that they're showing the world. Now, based on the cell phone information you had, uh, did she communicate this anywhere in her, through her text message records? Yes, through her text message records, uh, yes. I'm gonna show you what's marked 485.6. Question, Zoom in, yes. <coughs> Who's Danny D? Here you could identify where she is. So yes, that's a message uh, from uh, Griselda to uh, Danny. Okay, and you can read the incoming and the outgoing and the conversation that you extracted from the phone. Okay, um, says, hey, dude, where have you been? Uh, to Danny, me, you, where have you been? I've been going through a lot and you haven't been around. I missed you. From Danny, dude, honestly, I couldn't find you on Facebook anymore. I literally search for your ass like once a month. And me too, I've missed talking to you. I just took it down today. I was dealing with some crap earlier today with my baby daddy and took it down uh, to Danny. I found you but couldn't even message you since you know. I'm so glad I'm talking to you uh, right now though. I missed you, like no BS. It's like you knew I needed to hear from you. From Danny, laugh out loud, yes dude. How have you been? Okay, so last time we talked, you were getting your baby daddy on child support. And from Danny again, uh, I, could, I could do better. To Danny, well I, well I didn't until this past Friday. I told him today and things didn't go so good. It's so much it's so much I have to tell you. From Danny. Ah, oh, well, tell me, dude. How are your kids? You got to, right? You got to now, right? Okay, so 
based on your investigation, were you able to determine, and this, this conversation is going on when? On February 13th, 2018. And do you know when Griselda initiated her child support action against uh, Ronald Anthony Bugio Sabines? Um, I believe she filed it on February the 9th, 2018. So a few days before this exchange, she had been, she started the process? Yes. Yes, Danny sounds like a friend. No one contact Danny if Danny still got the same number. They're just showing emails and numbers and things now, my boy. show you what's already been admitted as 45.7 what is this Patricia on my website home page this is scroll information down. data from a, a screenshot okay. now, uh, please explain to the ladies and gentlemen Jerry, what's a screenshot um, a screenshot is a image taken um, of the screen on a cell phone okay and based on your your analysis of Burgos phone Griselda's phone, were you able to identify their profile names? Uh, for Facebook and for Snapchat? Well, if you know them. Well, yes, for Facebook, uh, I was able to identify it as Roro, R-O-R-O, -O, Avi, A-V-I. That's for Facebook. Roasted. That's for Facebook, for, for Burgos. And for and Snapchat, uh, for Burgos? For Snapchat, it was uh, Roro, R-O-R-O, uh, 419. So on forty-five point seven, what are we looking at here? This is a, a screenshot of a conversation that uh, between Burgos and uh, Griselda. Okay. 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 And, and uh, who's this person right here? That is uh, Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. And where was this conversation conducted? On what platform? On Facebook. Find this conversation on Burgos's Facebook? No, I, I, this one no, we did not. W where did you find this? Where did you find this? Uh, guy writes. Th this was a screenshot from uh, Griselda's phone oh, so that she that she took. So she had it in her pictures. She had it in her pictures okay. uh, album. All right, so maybe you can read it from the top. From the top, it's. Uh, from Griselda, giving you any problems at all, not once or have done anything to you. This is literally breaking me right now and I can't do it anymore. I've had my back against the wall this whole time trying to get by and I hate to say that I can't do it because I'm trying and have tried everything and I can't. Dominic won't always be that little boy in the pictures not knowing what's going on. He'll soon be older and question me and want to know you. You can't do this to me. And uh, Burgos responds, uh, in a few weeks, I'll, s I'll be stopping by, guts to get with you. Guts get with you, oh my word, Burgos. Thanks, Evie. Around this time, do you know if uh, Burgos was living outside Laredo? I, I, no, he was not. Where was he living? He was living at Pedrosa Street. Okay. As far as your investigation, did he ever live anywhere out of town? No. Now I'm showing you State Certificate 45. What else did you find during uh, looking at her phone? I'm talking about Griselda's phone. Uh, what else did you find that she she was doing actively to find Ronald Anthony Burgos Avenues? Mm, um, yes, uh, she conducted um, surveillance. Um, she took some photographs of his uh, residence. Okay. And this was in her phone. This was yes, it was on her phone. Suzette. 
Okay, we can start reading. Well, why don't we start up here on on, on March the ninth? Here. Okay, so it's a message to to Danny from Griselda. I feel super crappy right now. Uh, from Danny, why? What's up? To Danny, I passed by my baby daddy's house and I literally saw his wife get there with the kids at his house like nothing and it made me feel some type of way. Like I always thought they were separated or whatever because I never saw her there or any sign he was with her. Mm -hmm. To Danny, today that I saw her, it was like, I don't know, a slap in the face. Uh, Danny, uh, fuck. Uh, to Danny, like his kids get to have him around and have that father figure and my son doesn't. Everything he told me came back to me and I felt totally betrayed and I don't know, dude. I mean, I always thought something was going on or something was off, but today when I saw that, it really hit me. He's a total douchebag. I'm not mad he's with her and it's not that. It's the fact that he lied and he's giving his kids what's ours, what ours doesn't and will never have, you know? I feel so sad for my little one. I feel as if I did this to him, even though I knew nothing until I had him. I wanted to message him, but I know it's not worth it. I just feel super stupid, you know? Did you in fact find any images that she took of his house? Yes. 245.10. Woody, where's Where your ego now, Ronald Burgos? Uh, we're looking at uh, Burgos' residence. And who would that be over here? Uh, from the text messages, it's his uh, wife. Oh, okay. Not right here. Okay. Boo, beauty. <laughs> She's looking at the screen behind them. There's a TV screen. <laughs> He's feeling like a total a-hole right now, I think. Okay, so you said that you also, as part of your investigation, were able to obtain the Facebook records for both Griselda and, uh, Griselda and Ronald Anthony Bucos Agnes. Yes. Okay, can I approach you? I'm going to go ahead and show you what's been marked that states exhibit 87.2. Do you recognize that? Yes. Okay. 87.1. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is it that you're holding in your hand? It's a thick file. I'm holding the uh, Facebook records of uh, Griselda. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what's been marked as 86.1 and 86.2. Have you look at that. Do you recognize those documents? Yes, I do. And what are they? Uh, there are the Facebook records of Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. Okay. Nice. In a folder like that. A book. Thank you, Cargar. <laughs> Defense is like, oh crap. Total douchebags. Melissa Strange says douchebag for sure. This defense, I'm telling you, they look like the wind has been taken out of their sails. <laughs> <Def laughs> Boggs' face. What? Oh man. Chella. Mihaya. Mihia. Thank you so much for your super chat. You say good job. Good job for them, right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Flapping through. To me, he looked a little sad. 
only when they showed the picture of his house and then his wife there. Yeah, no? Melissa, why are you confused? She was not messaging his wife. She first messaged herself, then she messaged him, and then she messaged her friend Danny. That's what we've seen so far. She drove by and took photos of the house, though. And she did a, a quick check to see, well, where's he from? Where's he staying? What's up with him? Because she thought he was, you know, separated from his wife and not living in Laredo. Mrs. O says prosecution has done a fantastic job. They have. <laughs> Boring ASMR. You know I want those. Right? I'm like looking at that. Oh, wow. Those binders of Facebook records is very up. Jeez, Ellie. Very organized. Beverly says they're looking a bit dejected now. <laughs> they really are. Mrs. E, we don't, we haven't called Griselda a mistress from day one. You know, that is how initially... It was categorized on social media from, you know, mainstream media, but we haven't, we stopped with that on day one. Because we all agree with you. That's the point. We all agree as a community. She didn't know. She thought he was separated. And we don't victim blame over here either way. But you'll not see it anymore in my description boxes or my titles or anything from day one. Oh man, are they going to look through all of that now? This is Detective Ruiz. Juan Ruiz is here. We saw on day Rock four. Is. I think that's him. It looks like him from day four. Oh, now they're approaching. <laughs> this lady's like, oh man. What now? What now, Eduardo? Assistant District Attorney Maricela Yasaman. She's like, okay, I'm going to bring more books over. William Boggs. He's like, hey, so about all those thick files, hey, those were huge. We don't see that coming. <laughs> that was quite unexpected. She's like, well, what were you thinking? Obviously, it's like we're going to rest our case and He's like, I didn't think it would be that big. Obviously, I'm just paraphrasing. I'm making up stuff now. <laughs> I'm not even paraphrasing. I'm just making it up. We're looking, reading body language and thinking, what are they saying here? Eduardo. <laughs> He's like, no, judge. They cannot. They cannot just suddenly. Oh, close up of a tie. Burgos, you feeling like a POA Sancha? That That tie is feeling a little bit tight, isn't it? Can't breathe, huh? What is he writing now? I gets with you later. <laughs> I can't believe you wrote that. Vicky says, I've never seen a defense team looking so depressed. I mean, I thought they did it a little bit in Letitia Stauff's case, but this one, mm -mm. really, they're all, compared to the other days, the other days it looked like they had some hope, you know, like, we can do this. We got this, but today they're like, Oh, man. <laughs> Janet says, Gandalf not happy with page 4321 of Facebook book. <laughs> yeah, she does look like Gandalf quite a lot, huh? She's whispering, bro, you are what? Doomed? <laughs> You're gonna fry. You are so roasted, bro, bro. Why? What? Isn't. Right on this page, under description, besides where it says how many are watching. Why? Uh, Aracheli Ar Spicy Chica says, Binders are part of discovery. Why waste time? Right? Why waste time? Why? 
Where? I don't understand because it's not on here. It's not on here. No. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Lineker says, Love G's side commentary. Jaji's like, Listen, this was part of Discovery. AC says, Ro, ro roasted. Thank you for the coffees, you guys. Oh, my word, you're so sweet. Right after it says, How many people are watching? Oh, you're talking about the hashtags. Okay, okay. I see you, thank you. I won't fix it right so now. So, I'm gonna mark you. Okay. Oh, yeah, we the objections overruled. Well, <laughs> I thought. Were you offering? Yes, I'm offering. Okay, them. they're, ad they're admitted. Objections overruled. So, that's 87.1, 87.2, 87, 86.1, and, and 86.2. Fixed. They're on. Oh. Damn, be kind. I got your point. It's fixed. It was one more, one place. Okay, are we moving on? Oh, shame. This guy, he's stressing today. Look at him, look at him. I'm going to show you what's what been marked as 87.1. Yes. Tell the jury what you have show us. Who is Facebook records are those? These are Griselda's Facebook records. And what time frame do they cover? Um, they should cover from uh, March 20th. Uh, 2018 to uh, April 11th, 2018. Okay, now I'm going to show you 86.1. Whose rec Facebook records are those? These are uh, Ronald Anthony Burgos's records, Facebook records. What period of time do they cover? Um, they cover March 25th to April 11th. Okay. And he said that's cover when? Hers cover from uh, March 20th to April 11th, 2018. Okay. Why the difference? Um, so the I requested uh, through a search warrant the records for both Facebooks, and the time frame I requested was from March 20th, uh, 2018 to April 11th, 2018. And um, on Burgos's records, communications from March 20th, 2018 to March 24th are excluded. There's no messages from him during, those, uh, during that time period. And did, but did he have Facebook communication during that time? Yes. And how do you know? Because of the, the screenshots, uh, the screenshot that you previously showed. Okay. But how were you able to, if, if you're saying between that period of time, Burgos doesn't, you don't find any Facebook in his records, mm -hmm. where do you then find his communications? Uh, yes, in uh, Griselda's records. So it, it, in Griselda's records of communication from March 20th, uh, 2018, all the way to to March, uh, April 3rd, I believe. April 3rd. Uh, they're communicating. Mm. So uh, Burgos is missing that time period. How many days are missing from Burgos's Facebook records? Approximately four days. Okay, and what does, what, what, what does that mean? That he possibly deleted them? Objection, one or speculation. Oh, speculation. Okay. Thing. All right, I'll, I'll move on. Thank you, V reader. Well, like, at least they find something to object to. Objection, speculation. So I'm going to show you. And can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how it works when you request Facebook records, uh, how they're read? Uh, yes, uh, these records are, are read uh, from back to front. In reverse? In reverse, yes. Meaning? 
the most uh, uh, the most uh, recent the first page would be the most recent and uh, the later page would be um, I'm sorry in reverse, in reverse. yes uh, the last page would be the most recent and the uh, first page would be they would the have Dana. later messages okay so I'm gonna first show you then okay let's see them uh, Your Honor, we'll need the translator because there's some words in Spanish. Okay, okay. In English, as long as you give her the uh, page number and the exhibit number you're reading from, she'll be able to, to stay on board. Where are you going to start at? We're going to start on page 2061. And we're going to start at of what exhibit? Of State's Exhibit 87.1. He's already said that. 87.1 at page He thought he was so smart. Thank you. Is she on board? She is. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, we're going to okay. start now. So the author to the bottom message is uh, Griselda, uh, and it was sent on uh, March 20th, 2018. Why can't they show us? Because you're all fine. Don't see me then. Okay, ignore me. Burgos responds, I just saw this. What the hell? Anyways, quick question. What is it that you are exactly asking for? I can't see the... Or what were you asking for initially, since I bet it changed by now? Laugh out loud. Griselda, asking for when? Uh, Burgos, what you said you asked for, uh, for from me. Then said you take me to court. What was it that you asked for? Uh, question mark. Griselda, I never said I was going to take you to court. I was asking you to help me with Dominic, his daycare. I told you what I was paying, and it was too much. That's what I said. Yes. Uh, March 20th, 2018, author Griselda. I wasn't making it, I told you. Burgos. Okay, so what is it you want then? Question mark. Griselda. I want you to help me financially with him. If you don't want him or don't want anything to do with him, I can't make you want to be there, but the least you can do is help me with him in that way. And it isn't so much uh, me being any type of way with you, I just need the help right now. It isn't, it isn't anything personal that you did anything to me or me seeking for vengeance. It's nothing like that. I don't hate you. You made your decision and I can't do anything but respect what you chose. When he gets older, that's just something he'll have to understand. As for me, the best thing I can do is continue my studies to give him the best that I can as his mom. You can't say I'm not right in what I'm doing for him. Burgos, so how much money you want? Griselda, it's not up to me anymore. So who? Griselda, child support. Haven't you gotten any letters? Okay. 
Griselda, I got them today. Again, this was sent on March 20th, 2018. Literally, just right now. Burgos, I'm not in Laredo yet. Griselda, check your mail once you're here. You should have them too. March 27th, 8 a.m. Burgos, but thanks for telling me. Guess if they say you need two million, you need two million. Whoa. He's like, I'm not dead yet. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, Burgos, whatever. Okay. Griselda, you can have what he doesn't need. It's not like that. I'm being really nice telling you that given everything you've told me, but money doesn't make me. What is he writing? Burgos, March 27th. Is he going to say I'm pleading guilty now? Please, say it, say it. Boggs is like, what? He's getting so pissed off now. Griselda, and not once have I ever been a money person with you. Mm. Ever. Burgos. So they gave you letter today for seven days from now? Griselda, you know things were never like that between us. I don't know, I guess. Uh, Burgos, you better call them and reschedule because I won't be able to make it. And I don't want to have a warrant for failure to appear because some asshole gave seven days notice. Motherfuckers. Griselda, you won't have a warrant and for when? Do you want to call instead and let me know? If you think I'm lying, I'm not. The last thing I want to do is fight or argue with you. Shame. Burgos, like they should give me like two or three weeks. Don't, uh, don't tell. I wouldn't have never known. This guy. That's why I thought that's why you were asking all these questions. I thought you knew before I did. He's so pissed off now. He's like, Box, just end this now. I just want to plead guilty. Make it stop. Burgos, no, I didn't. But good thing, good thing I fucking asked. Gonna get raped without even knowing. Okay, Zelda. LPL. Uh, correction, laugh out loud. <laughs> She's okay, Zelda, calm down. I wouldn't, I would have told you. Burgos, now I gotta go and give parental rights away. Thanks to you. Griselda, you're still being like that? Okay, Anthony. Call and reschedule. I guess that day will... I guess that day will... The first and last you actually see him in person. And I say that since I'm guessing they'll... They'll be doing the swab at the office. Burgos, I'm being like what? Mm. You the one, not me. Griselda, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. You, sire. Yeah, bro. Griselda, yeah, I don't want to argue uh, you or anything right now. Griselda, call and reschedule. I'll send you the picture in a minute. Argue with you. She was correcting herself. Uh, Burgos, no tu llama. Hold on a second. Sorry. It, the volume is a little low. Let me get the volume. Say it again. No, you call. Oh, this is his least favorite day of all time. Mm, on display mm. for the world to see. Okay, so now give me the date here. If you can read. Yes, uh, from March 24th, 2018. Um, I, I believe those symbols are emojis. These little rectangles? Yes. Are emojis. Emojis. Okay, okay Burgos. Si, claro. What 
page number, Your Honor? Uh, page 2039, 20, 87.1, I'm sorry. It says truth on her hand. Page 2039. For those asking. It's going to be right here where it says, si supieras. But he's or, angry. Si claro. Si claro. Burgos, what? si, si claro. I'm sorry. Yes, sure. Si supieras. If you only knew. Griselda, whatever. Burgos, si supieras que no traigo ni verga. If you only knew that I don't have shit. That does Griselda, not si, tú. Yes, you. Sabes. You know. That's uh, from Burgos. Te quisiera contar algo. I'd like to tell you something. Pero no por Facebook. But not through Facebook. A lo mejor en persona o teléfono. Maybe in person or phone. Pero estoy seguro que dentro de unas semanas no voy a ser tu friend. But I'm sure that in a few weeks I'm not going to be your friend. There's, there's that message. This is from Griselda. What? Question mark. You hear what that? What date is this? That was uh, March uh, 24th, 2018. March 24th. In a few weeks, you, you're not going to want to be my friend. Did you know when they met at the park? Yes, they met at uh, on March uh, 25th, 2018. Where? At the Winfield Park. Okay. Griselda. Y eso por qué? And why is that? Di por qué. Tell me why. Uh, Burgos, que las saques. Whip them out. Griselda, no. Tell me why. You always shut me out, so tell me why. Ya ves, siempre haces eso. You see, you always do that. Griselda, if you're saying that to me right now, then why tell me sacalas? If you say, why, why tell me whip them out? If you say in a few weeks, that's going to happen. Whatever you do or did. Just in time for my birthday, just great. Burgos, what's in time for your birthday? Griselda, whatever it is you're talking about, Burgos, I'm talking about que la saques. For you to whip them out. Griselda, then what was all that about? Burgos, that I wanted to tell you something, because I do, but never mind that. Going to 2037. That's right, Teresa. That's why I said that. You're not going to want to be my friend in a few weeks. Because he thought that, that Dominic would be dead. No, from Burgos. Saca los globos. What about them melons? Griselda, why don't you just say it? Like, I don't get it. You're not going to die by telling me. And I can't, not right now. My boyfriend is here. Burgos. Ah, pero hoy en la noche. Oh, but tonight. Griselda, uh, NTC. Uh, Burgos. Uh, just, no te creas, just kidding. Uh, Burgos, los globos flotando. DN Bad Bunny. The melons out there and Bad Bunny. Griselda, not tonight, tomorrow. Laugh out loud. I never have them out. They're not for everyone to see, duh. Burgos, pues, as a warm-up, y sacalas. Well, as a warm-up, I whip them out. Griselda, warm-up, haha. Give me a bit. I'm not going 
I'm not going to give you shit from Burgos. I'm going to now go to 2004. Page 2004. At the bottom. Yes, this message is uh, authored by Burgos. Uh, on March 25th, 2018. And what time is it? It says UTC, but just to tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what time is this happening on March 25th, 2018? Uh, that would be 12 uh, p.m. 12.07 p.m. Okay. No, I just don't understand why you say you can't no more. Uh, Griselda, mi bendi se levantó. My bendy woke up. De buenas que no estabas aquí, la falda. Good thing you weren't here. Burgos, ¿quién es Bendy? Gris Who is Bendy? Griselda, bendición. Blessing. Griselda, uh, emojis. Uh, Burgos, pues tráetelo también. Let's meet up. We'll bring him, bring him also. Griselda, yeah, right. Never and never have you asked to see him or anything about him. Burgos, bueno pues, okay. I'll leave it oh, at that. Fine. Okay. Uh, Burgos, whatever, ya olvídalo. Keep your excuses. Forget it. Griselda, excuses. Te digo que está despierto. I'm telling you that he's awake. Ven. Come. This next message is from Burgos. Y te dije, let's meet up y que lo traigas, pero andas con excusas. And I told you, <laughs> and I told you let's meet up and to bring him, but you're going around with excuses. Going to page 2003. Griselda, I thought you were being sarcastic. You don't do this, that's all. Burgos, no I wasn't, but fuck it, your comment pissed me off. Oh my word. Griselda, I'm sorry. Really, I am. Shit. Burgos, it's cool, don't worry. Griselda, I just thought you were being sarcastic. So, now what? Lo quieres ver? Te pregunto bien. Do you want to see him? I'm asking you right. No, Burgos, now what? I'm not going to say shit. Si quieres, lo traes. Si no quieres, no. Si quieres, voy. Si no quieres, no. It's whatever. If you want to, bring him. If you don't want to, don't. If you want, I can go. If you don't want to, no. And I said I was sorry, I mean it. I'm asking you right, from Griselda. Now I'm going to page 1998. Well, you died. Griselda, we want to hear this. I had to shower too. Burgos, you take forever to get ready, damn. Griselda, sorry, I'm almost done. Sorry. Where's that park you were saying? By where? Burgos, Winfield. Like by Del Mar and Gold's Gym. Ya que? Griselda. Now what? Griselda, okay. Oh, oh, what? okay, what? Okay, Burgos. Okay, okay, ¿qué? 
¿Qué vas a hacer okay, entonces? So then what are you going to do? Grisela, I'll be there in like 15. Or I'll message you if I'm lost. What time is that last message here on the top of page 1998? That's at 103 uh, p.m. 103 p.m. on March 25th. Yes. I'm now going to page 1997. This lady's anxiety is very high. I don't know who she is. But she's like, oh my god. Burgos. Word. Okay. Me muero en el sol. I'm dying in the sun. Griselda, laugh out loud on Delmar. Where exactly do I turn? Passing golds. Burgos, yes. Pass golds, then the next uh, light to the left. Should E. Winfield. Griselda, okay. Griselda, I think I'm here. Burgos, you in the white car? Griselda, yeah. Burgos, I'm here in court playing basketball. What time does he identify her in the white car? At 1.32 p.m. On uh, March 25th, 2018. What color car was Griselda driving the day she was murdered? It was a white uh, Mercedes. I'm now going to turn to page 1980. This is hectic, you guys. Glad we're in it together here. Whoa. And look at him. Oh my word. Okay. So what do we got going on here? This is uh, messages from um, from Burgos on uh, March 25th, 2018, and uh, the time should already be uh, 20, 19, 18, 16, 436 p.m. And he starts says, uh, "Gee, feels better now." Uh, Griselda, he's drowsy. They gave him five different meds and a shot. I'm waiting to be seen again to see if the meds are making an effect on him. His thigh is really stiff. He just cries like rock hard. Burgos, I don't think it was a recluse. Now what's a recluse? A uh, spider. You don't say. Griselda, I looked it up and yeah, I don't think so either. But they said it's a spider bite, not a bee, which I, which is what I thought first. Burgos, yeah, doesn't look like a recluse. Seems l more like a bee, like, like stung, like a bumblebee or something. Laugh out loud. Wow. Griselda, I don't know. They're fu they're freaking idiots. The pics I sent were the last of the drainage that came out. Burgos, calm down, nurse. Oh my word, the way he talks to her. Going to 1979. Griselda, they are. Like you should have seen how they were asking what was wrong with him. They said it was an injury and that if I had done anything to him, then a freaking ant bite, like really? When clearly a bite is there to be seen, my poor baby. Bite. Ni pal bad bunny, you win. Ni voy a poder cantar 
esa parte. We'll make it, won't make it to Bad Bunny. You win. I won't be able to sing that part. Burgos, why not? I feel bad if I leave him like this. Burgos, he will be fine. It's nothing oh. serious. Oh my word. Griselda, yeah, but pobrecito, he's never like this. Poor baby. Voy a ir nomás a cantar esa parte. I'm going to go just to go sing that part. Uh, rectangles. Their emojis. Okay. I'm going to go now to page 1974. Yeah, yeah, he knows he's screwed, Kevin. He knows. You can see, he's just like, oh, it just hit him now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Burgos. Depende. If I'm sober enough, see. Sí. Okay, now let's look at the time now here on the UTC and the date. Mm -hmm. uh, this should still be March 25th. Um, you subtract 5, so that's going to be... <coughs> 23... Dang, look, he just gave bugs. 1, 20, 19, 7.35 p.m. So this is uh, going to still be March 25th at 7.35 p.m. Yes. Okay, continue. ¿Cómo siguió el nene? ¿Ya pudo caminar? How's the baby doing? Was he able to walk? Griselda, he was doing better than earlier. He stayed asleep while I got ready. I gave him his meds and got him ice packs for his bike. My sister is keeping me updated on any changes. Said she'd call me if she saw anything out of the norm. Burgos, but could he walk? Griselda, no, he can't bear any weight on it yet. I tried helping him and he cries. The bite is right on his muscle. Burgos, you know he can, you know he can get necrosis, right? Burgos, I feel super bad. You shouldn't take him to SA or something tomorrow. You should take him to SA or something tomorrow. I don't know. Griselda, my sister is a nurse. She works in wound care. That is the only reason I let her watch him tonight. I'm taking him tomorrow to the doctor. If there isn't any improvements, I'll take him elsewhere. Burgos, ah, okay. I'm going to go to page 1960. What does Boggs want to say? He almost got up there. He's looking very uncomfortable. Look at everyone. So this is on March 27, 2018. Uh, Griselda. What time is it, detective? The time is um, nine twenty-four p.m. A.M. I'm sorry. Nine twenty-four a.m. on the twenty-seventh of March. This is two days after the Winfield Park meeting. Yes. Okay. Griselda. Ignorame. Ignore me. Burgos, I just saw them. Nadie te ignoro. Nobody ignored you. Griselda, you didn't show up, so they're going to call you, letting you know in case you're not wanting to answer. Burgos, looks BT. What? Griselda, yes, it does. He's doing a lot better. Looks better, probably, yeah. Griselda, he's been having fever and congestion, and he tried standing last night, but still couldn't. I'm turning to page 1959. 
Detective, based on uh, your investigation of these messages, did you discover when the negotiation meeting with the Attorney General was going to take place? Yes, sir. It was on March 27, 2018. Burgos, when was it? Yesterday, question mark? Griselda, when was what? The appointment, question mark? It was today at 8. I'm here, y tú bien dormido. And you are sleeping. Oh Burgos, I'm not sleepy. I'm on meetings the whole week. Griselda, oh, okay. I don't know if they're going to reschedule. I think they are. Griselda, you asked for a DNA question mark? Griselda, emoji. Burgos, no, I didn't. Why you say that? Griselda, we're going to court now. Burgos, why? I didn't ask for shit, no lie. Griselda, I'll message you once I leave. Ya ves? You see? I'm going to page 1946 now. Sure. These ticks are bad. Whoa. So here and there, I'll put the trigger warning up because I can see some people are getting anxious and angry. If you feel triggered, make sure you're okay. Uh, Griselda, dale ese beso a, a la que le estás dando clavo. Give that kiss to whoever you're screwing. And at what time is this? That is at uh, 3 p.m. on uh, March 27, 2018. Burgos. Ah, okay. Griselda. Don't act butthurt. You have no heart. Burgos. Laugh out loud. I started having a heart two days ago. You killed it today. Y te ríes porque sabes que es verdad, malo. That was from Griselda. And, and you laugh because you know it's the truth, Nini. Griselda. I did not. And thank you for seeing Dominic that day. It didn't go so well, and he won't remember, but I'm glad you finally met him. Griselda, laugh out loud, started having a heart. Burgos, well, you killed all that, dead. Griselda, I didn't. Griselda, fine, be cold again. Nineteen forty next. So many pages. Page nineteen forty. I'll ask you to identify the date and the time on page nineteen forty. Yes, it's uh, March twenty seven, twenty eighteen at uh, five twelve. PM. El Mercedes no está a tu nombre. The Mercedes is not under your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, I think you missed the very bottom. Yes. Okay. Ni que fuera quien from Griselda. It's not like it's someone. Burgos. El, Mer el Mercedes no está a tu nombre. The Mercedes is not under your name. Griselda, I don't even have friends anymore. Emojis, you went there, laugh out loud. Burgos, I saw your mom at the laundry. Griselda, entonces el de quien? So then whose? Burgos, she don't like me. Griselda, emojis, say hi ma'am, you may not like me. Pero a tu hija le encanta, le encante este Iche. But your daughter loves this fucking 
Griselda, yeah, NTC. No te creas, I'm kidding. Griselda, you went right now? Burgos, sí. Yes. Went to 1939. Griselda, encanta. Ha ha. Liar, you wouldn't. I know you. Burgos, what the, f what the fuck? Why not? You wouldn't. Burgos, they do good work. And that's uh, an emoji sticker. That's right, Marcy. The jury should only have to deliberate for five seconds. On page 1938, what time are we at? We're on March 27, 2018 at uh, 5.16 at p.m. Pero ya no, ya no iré pa que me estén mirando así. Me la pela. But I won't go anymore, so they can be looking at me like that. I don't give a shit. Griselda, ¿cómo? What do you mean? ¿Y quién? ¿Mi mamá? And who? My mom? Laugh out loud. Burgos. I'm not going back. Griselda, you left close or... Si fuiste o no? Burgos, I went to pick up Griselda, oh, I don't know, ven, dame. Come give me. Burgos, cuando? When? Griselda, I don't know when you can. No me dices nada. You don't tell me anything. Okay. I'm going to go to page 1903. is busy there. Give me the, t the date and the time, please. So yes, that's uh, March March 31st, 2018. And uh, that is at 11 a.m. Griselda, ven, dame, escapate un ratito. Come give it to me. Get away for a minute. Burgos, uh, no panties, no bras, laugh out loud. Te pasas. You're over the top. Griselda, fun's over. Ya tu novia te, te trae ahí y ya no puedes hacer nada. Pa' qué te haces? Fun's over. Your girlfriend has you and you can no longer do anything. Why do you pretend? Burgos, ya te dije. No haces caso. I already, I already told you. You don't listen. Tu mamá. Your mom. Tu hermana. Your sister. Tu hermano. Your brother. Te van a regañar. They're going to get after you. Griselda sends emojis. Whatever, you're scared. I get it. Está bien. Pero lo That's más fine. Pero lo más importante, tu sis te va a quitar el Mercedes. Laugh out loud. That's from Burgos. But the most important thing, your sis is going to take away the Mercedes. And who's the one that mentions uh, your sis is going to take away the Mercedes? That's uh, authored by Burgos. Was there more communication after that date, I think after the 31st? After the 31st, uh, yes, there was. Okay. And how else did they communicate? 
uh, they communicated also through uh, Snapchat. H, right up there. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Now, States Exhibit 92 was the Snapchat uh, USB. Do you recall? Yes. I'm going to show you what's marked as States Exhibit 92.1 and ask you <coughs> if you recognize this document. Yes, yes, I do. And is the information contained in 92.1? Is that accurate? <coughs> uh, depiction of what the information you you retrieve from States Exhibit 92. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to just tender it to the best. Who's going to listen to the replay to hear it all again? Because I am. The first time is so shocking that you're like, what? I'll have to listen to it again. Just to make sure of all of it. Because damn. What is he writing? writing furiously I think he's the type of guy to blame his attorneys like they effed up they didn't do a good job look at this now it's over okay okay plead guilty do it yeah <laughs> takes a state of mind to definitely listen to the replay especially the, for those of us who are visual learners I wish we could read it I wish I could read it with my own eyes that helps a lot Listening. Mm, okay, I'm gonna listen again. Two times. No objection. Okay. okay. Admitted. Okay. So, uh, would, are you familiar with Snapchat? Yes. Okay. Now, based on your investigation, can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury how this platform works, um, in, in the in how it operates, and you know the differences between Snapchat and and, and Facebook. Uh, I guess uh, the main difference uh, from Facebook and Snapchat is that uh, uh, messages sent uh, can be uh, put to a delete at a certain uh, at certain time. So the mess uh, can you be more specific as to what happens to when you receive a Snapchat message in plain language? Um, the messages delete at a certain time. Disappear. Disappear. Yes. Okay. And so, what is it that we're looking at here? Uh, and, and let me just be a little more specific. With the voluminous Facebook uh, exhibits we had, do you have that for Snapchat? No, that's it. It wasn't uh, a lot of information that uh, was returned. Okay. Uh, uh, Snapchat messages, uh, the actual text of the, of the Snapchat message is not recorded. Yes. Is that true? Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. What does the Snapchat uh, information provide? It uh, provides uh, the sender and recipient uh, information, uh, whether it was expired. Uh, it also has the timer. Um, and it also has information if the message was received. Um, sent and uh, viewed. Okay, so let's just first for example purposes explain to the jury how the information is interpreted uh, in Snapchat from this chart. If we're gonna, if we're gonna use uh, number 15. So So this, in this case, the sender would be Aiden Fraga, and the recipient would be Griselda XO, which is Griselda Hernandez. Uh, the message uh, was received on Monday, April 9th, 2018. 
and uh, it was sent on April 9th, 2018, um, and it was received on, on the same date, wow. but it was not viewed. And the message did not expire. So the 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 records that we have in States Exhibit ninety two point one they they work also in reverse. Yes, yes, they do. I also want to know, I call says, why isn't the court showing the messages on screen? Why? I also want to know. <coughs> why can't we see it? Cameraman, if you're listening, why can't we see the text messages? Goral Sol, thank you so much for your $10 super sticker. Okay. Me so too. we're going to start over here in the back, okay? We've got homework, you guys, to listen to it again. And please explain to the jury what is it that we're seeing here on, on, on message number 243. This was, what is this name here, Grisel? Griselda uh, XO. That is uh, Griselda Hernandez. And what does it mean in this column here? That column would be uh, the sender. Okay, and then in column D, what is column D? The column D would be the recipient. Who is the recipient? Uh, Roro, R-O-R-O-419. And who do you know Roro-419 to be? Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. Okay. What does this mean in the column E? The true means that the uh, message uh, was expired. Okay. What is this number? What is this number on column F? That would be the timer. Uh, okay. okay. And now what is this now on column I? On column I, if you could uh, put it back to the first page. Yes, okay, column I would be the received. The time it was received, the middle column would be the uh, time it was viewed and uh, the last column would be the time it was sent okay yeah swallow hard okay. look at him Life now is over, i'm bro. over here on 208 Column C. Yes, the sender was uh, Griselda, and the recipient was Burgos. Okay. The message did expire. Uh, it was uh, ten seconds. What does this indicate in column I? That was uh, that's uh, the received. The last column was sent. Uh, I'll show you again. Yeah, it's, it's and it received it viewed, viewed, yes. Okay, so over here on 28, it's received at, at what time? That would be uh, UTC, so that'd be at 11, uh, 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m. on April 5th, 2018. And it was viewed on uh, April 5th. 2018 at 11:34 uh, a.m. Okay, and it was sent at. Okay, what about in 207? 207, um, the uh, sender was Griselda. The recipient was Burgos. Uh, it did uh, expire in 10 seconds, and uh, it was. Uh, it was uh, received at um, 11.30 uh, a.m. And it was, I'm sorry, the, the, the middle column is uh, received. 
viewed. Viewed. And then received. Yeah. So sent is on the right, and mm -hmm. then the received is on the left. Viewed is in the middle. So what time was it viewed? It was viewed at 11.34 a.m. Right, middle, all that confusion. So you just name the column. There's okay. a column letter on it. Correct. Sorry, I apologize, Your Honor. On uh, on 208, column I, what would that designate? Uh, right. Received. Column J. Viewed. Column K. And sent. Okay. Now, right. um, over yes, here, Brenda. Me too. On number 195. You can please read from column C and move to the right. Yes, the sender was uh, Griselda. The recipient was Burgos. It was expired uh, in 10 seconds. It was uh, received on April 5th at um, 4.45 at p.m. It was viewed at uh, 4.46 p.m. And it was sent at uh, 4.45 p.m. And message 194? 194 was uh, sent by Griselda. The uh, recipient was uh, Burgos. It uh, was expired in four seconds. It uh, was received at uh, 4.47. It was viewed at uh, 4.56, and it was uh, sent at 4.47 p.m. Now, during these dates, Detective, were there any Facebook messages going on? Uh, no. The Facebook messages, uh, the last Facebook messages between Burgos and uh, Griselda was on April 3rd, 2018. So it stops April 3rd and they switch to Snapchat? Yes. Okay. But they still continue to communicate? Yes. Okay. So what's going on on, on April the 6th? April the 6th, um, Burgos sends uh, a message. The recipient is uh, Griselda. Um, it expired in five seconds um, and it was uh, received at um, on April 5th, actually. Which is UTC. April 5th. at uh, 8 p.m. Are you on 157? Yes. Okay. And the date? The date should be April 5th. Uh, oh, okay. It's UTC. Oh, okay, it's UTC. Okay. Now I want to move to to lines 120 and 119 on April the 7th. Okay. Okay. Uh, line 120. So uncomfortable today. Box. Yes, uh, the sender is uh, Griselda. The recipient is Burgos. It was expired um, uh, for three seconds. It was received uh, on April 7th, 2018. Um, at um, that's right, TJ. At six uh, a.m. and uh, viewed at six fifty a.m. and sent at uh, six forty nine a.m. And what about on line one nineteen? Sent by uh, Griselda, received by Burgos. Uh, was expired in four seconds. Um, received 
at um, I'm surprised the judge is so quiet he's not like just move on let's get to April 9th right 7.07 uh, a.m. Um, viewed at 7.09 a.m. and uh, sent at uh, 7.07 a.m. Now I want to move to April the 8th. I really wonder if he's going to plead guilty because those types want to take control, you know? He's just very you agitated, what day, very uh, busy. The baby was Look at him. Were killed? Bogs On April really 9th, 2018. Let's talk about line 62. Yes, um, the sender was Griselda, the recipient was Burgos. Message was expired in five seconds and it was sent on April the 8th at uh, 2.42 at, uh, uh, p.m. It was viewed at 2.52 p.m. and uh, received, sent at uh, 2.42 p.m. Line 37 on April 8th. You can read to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury the report. Yes, uh, it was uh, sent by Griselda, uh, viewed by Burgos, expired uh, in seven seconds, sent on April the 8th at uh, at 5.32 p.m., um, viewed at 5.34 p.m., and uh, sent at uh, 5.32 p.m. Let me ask you, of all these messages that are, that basically you said disappear, were any of them captured in any format? Uh, there were some uh, captured in uh, screenshots. Oh, okay. Screenshots taken by who? By Griselda. Okay, may I approach her? Screenshots, she was smart. So I'm gonna show you what's been marked as States Exhibit 45.11, 45.12, and 45.13 and look at these states exhibits and also tell me if they accurately depict what you extracted from from the phone and if it's been altered in any way <laughs> yes they do actually uh, depict what was extracted from the phone and they have not been act, uh, altered in any way we heard those numbers to be 485 is that correct your Honor, that is going to be 45.11, 45.12, and 45.13. All right, just start from Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll just tender them to the defense. Just we did have. Is it, we just had a 45. 45.11, 12.13. We did have those numbers, so we might have to redo those numbers. Oh dear. Alexis, I'm not sure, and I don't think so. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be here today at a death penalty trial. So those are So not that I read, but thank you, thank you so much for your sticker. And you say, P.S. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank, thanks. So these have already been admitted, they're not uh, duplicates, 45, 11, 12, and 13. So uh, explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what you talked about a screenshot, what does that mean in plain language? It's, uh, it's an image taken uh, of the screen of someone's phone. And how do you do that? Uh, there are different ways. Um, uh, for an iPhone, you press uh, buttons at the same time. For an Android, you swipe to the right. Does, are you familiar with the, or, or through your investigation, were you able to determine um, 
how Griselda was able to take these snapshot snap snap uh, shots without um, with, w without um, Burgos being able to identify that. Uh, yes, um, I believe at the, uh, at the time, um, and I think it still does it. But uh, Snapchat would re would re or would notify uh, the person that you're chatting with that uh, you took a screenshot. Okay, and how could you circumvent that notification to the other party? So um, at the time, uh, you could. Uh, put it into previews of tiles of screens that you have open on your phone and take a screenshot of that and it would not notify um, the, the uh, person you're chatting with. Did your investigation on these exhibits that I just showed you, did they, did they in fact reveal that they were taken in the tile format? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show you 485.11. What is it that we, that what we're seeing here? So this is a, a screenshot of, of two previews of screens she had open on her phone. Okay. I'll show you 45.12. I'm gonna show you here on the front. What does this indicate? Oh, we have the trains. That's the uh, the data from uh, the screenshot. Okay. Oh. And again, over here. So that was that was on April 9th from what I saw there but just after midnight <coughs> you able to identify the persons who this is happening between uh, yes uh, it's uh, between uh, Burgos Burgos is uh, sending that message Or 45.12, I'm sorry, 45.12. What do we see here? Um, I'm nervous now. Oh. It is a screenshot of, of uh, two screens that she has open, or two sc uh, previews of the screens she has uh, open on her, on her cell phone, which is a Snapchat and uh, Facebook Messenger. And who is this message from? Anthony from Burgos. Burgos. Can you read what it says? Que fea, por que me ignoras? You're so bad, why do you ignore me? Forty-five point thirteen. No, K eighty. Did you? He's done it every day. He's always mumbling to himself. Is the screenshot from her phone? Yes. Can we identify the, the parties on this uh, communication? That's uh, Burgos. And it says, uh, Que te hice? On April the 8th, um, I believe uh, we found out uh, through text messages that um, Griselda was asking for the car to meet uh, Burgos.
Now I, I want to move to April the 9th. That's the day of the crime. Yes, we want more dog pics. Please, cameraman. What, was there communication on April 9th, the, the day that Griselda was murdered? Yes. Starting on 21? Here we go, on the day. Column C. Mm -hmm. The uh, sender was uh, Burgos. Uh, the recipient was uh, Griselda. If you can just speak a little louder into the mic, please. Yes. The recipient is uh, Griselda. It was expired. It expired in eight seconds. Um, and it was sent on Monday, April 9th, 2018. Um, it was viewed also. Yes, the time is... Um, what time was it sent? The time it was sent, it was... Uh, Eight forty-eight a.m. Eight forty-eight a.m. Yes. April the ninth. April the ninth. What time was it received? It was uh, received at eight forty-eight a.m. What time was it read? Eight fifty-nine a.m. Let's look now at line 20. Who is the sender? The sender is uh, Burgos. The recipient is uh, Griselda. What, it ti what time is it? Okay, go ahead. What, how long was it open? It was open for six seconds. It expired in six seconds. Wow. And it was sent at uh, 9.20. A.M. Received at 9.20 A.M. And viewed at 9.21 A.M. At 9.21 A.M., based on the video surveillance of Father Mactable Park, where is he said that? At 9.21 A.M., she is already parked at the uh, Father Mactable Park um, at the final parking spot of the Mercedes. And she's receiving a message from Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. Yes. Okay. He's looking Line so 19. Nervous. I can't see. I can't I'm sorry. See. Who is the sender? The sender is Burgos. The recipient is uh, Griselda. Uh, it did expire, seven seconds. Is he writing this down or what? It was sent at uh, 9.27 a.m. It was received at 9.27 a.m. and viewed at 9.34 a.m. And where is Griselda at 9.34 a.m. on April the 9th of 2018? She should already be at the area where, mm -hmm. where she was found. That's in the area of Father Magdebo Park? Yes. Okay. And there's still more communications getting closer to the time of her arrival, correct? Correct. Okay, now I want to go line by line, line 18. Who was the sender? The sender was Griselda. Who's the recipient? Burgos. It expired, 10 seconds. What time is the message sent? The time the message was sent was 9.40 a.m. What time was it received? 9.40 a.m. And viewed at 9.44 a.m. Let me ask you, Detective. You were at that crime scene, correct? Correct. Do you know, if you know, how long it takes to walk from where Griselda parked her white Mercedes to where her body was found. Yes, um, we walked we walked uh, that area and we timed it at approximately ten to fourteen minutes. When did you walk that area and time it? Uh, we walked it uh, 
on April 11th. And um, how many times did you walk it? And how many times did you time it? Uh, I timed it at least three times. Um, and we took um, different routes in the paved uh, trail. Um, and then um, we, uh, we weren't pushing a, a stroller though, so. So you were walking at, a, as a, at an easy pace? Um, yes, back then I was walking at an easy pace, okay. yes. And what was the fastest time you clocked from the car to the site? Approximately 10 minutes. What was the longest time you clocked? Approximately 12 minutes. Going back to line 17. Who's the sender? Griselda. Who's the recipient? Uh, Burgos. What time is a Snapchat sent? At 9.40. What time is it received? At 9.40 a.m. And what time is it read? 9.42 a.m. Line 16. The sender is uh, Griselda. The recipient is Burgos. It uh, expired four seconds. What time was it sent? It was sent at uh, 9.44 uh, a.m. What time was it received? 9.44 a.m. <coughs> what time was it read? It was read at uh, 9.44 a.m. So based on the Snapchat records, when was the last time Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles snap, sent a Snapchat message to Griselda? The last time uh, Ronald sent a message to Griselda was at uh, 9.27 a.m. I'm sorry, yes, 9.27 with six seconds. The last time on April the 9th of 2018, when was the last message that Griselda sent to Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles? At 9.44 a.m. So at 9.44 a.m., Griselda Hernandez was still alive? Yes. Were there any other persons of interest in this case that you investigated, looked into, or ruled out? Yes, um, we had uh, interviewed uh, Griselda's, um, the biological father of Griselda's uh, first son. And? And we were, we were able to rule him out. child correct okay uh, anybody else uh, yes there was mention at the beginning of the investigation of a, of a male subject walking in the park area with uh, with several dogs okay and did you guys uh, find that individual with the dogs yes we were able to find them yes and and we were able to rule them out okay. we spoke to him anybody else no. Your Honor, uh, that is concludes the questioning of Detective uh, Garcia. I just want to, before we pass the witness, resubmit the state's exhibits, uh, the posters that we had withdrawn. Can you give me the number? I believe it was uh, number 97. Move to introduce 97. I think 105 is already in. Yeah. If not, we. Oh, uh, 100. Move we'll to introduce 100. I don't know if that one's, one's withdrawn. 101. What a great witness. They moved to reintroduce 101. What a resubmit. testimony. That one will withdrawn. Yeah, you can have lots of water. That was intense.
97 was the first one I there's 102 102 I'll, I'll go ahead and, and re, uh, make a motion to resubmit 102 97, 101, and 102. We have 97 there already. Yes, sir. That was the first one, I think. So I 97, 101, and 102 are the ones that we have. Yes, sir. They are your re-offering. Re-offering. Any objections to the re-offer for introduction to them? No objections, Your Honor. All right. They are introduced. They are admitted. I thought he was going to. I thought he was going to. Thank you. Pass the witness. Yes, sir. Oh, man. What a day. What an intense day. This was a lot. And we're going to have to re-listen to a lot of that. But sure, at 9.27 a.m. is the last time that Burgos had sent her a message. And it is interesting that they were chatting on Facebook and then they switched to Snapchat, which I think would be his idea, you know? I'm thinking. I'm speculating. But because of the messages disappearing, which tells me a lot more about premeditation, especially since she was pursuing child support and he's like, in a few weeks, you want to want to be my friend and all that. You see? So it's like, whoa. So and then at 9, yeah, 927 is the last time that he sends a message to her. And the last time that she sends a message is at 944 a.m. Wow. Now, we don't know what it says because she, not from what we know now, took she didn't take screenshots of those and Snapchat messages do disappear after some time, yes. Shay says, uh, Gisela, now we know why Lara have a poignant, poignant witness testimony. Burgos was trying to frame him. Yes. I was surprised at least, well, not I was happy, but that... Uh, be done for the day. I'd like to start tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I can start the time that I tell you to start, but I will push to start at 8.45 tomorrow. So please be here at that time. You're done for the day. We have not given you the case yet. You are still in the instructions that I've given you. Please, if you need to refresh your memories on them, please do so before going out this evening. Thank you. Okay. Please rise, Damn, that was a quick, quick ending there. Everyone is tired. Caroline says funding catnip for Fury. He actually has catnip spray. And then he has this long fluffy tail thing that he <laughs> I sprayed on there and he just loves it. So I will I will <laughs> get him some more. Thank you. Thank you so much, Caroline. So I was just saying um, when he was, when District Attorney uh, Isidro Alanis was asking questions. Did you investigate anyone else? I thought they might say, well, yeah, we did question Agent Lara, but we were able to rule him out, that type of thing. I thought, I'm like, oh no, poor Agent Lara, but no. Guy in the park with lots of dogs and the biological father of Griselda's other son. Thank you, Annie P. Uh, yeah, I haven't checked out those court records. That would be amazing. Court records? Of every day? That is so helpful. Okay. Thank you. Does any, do you guys feel tired? <laughs> if you were here all day, do you feel tired? Because you know, some days are intense. This was one of those days where I'm like, damn, we're going to sleep well. Oh man. Okay. I'll have to check out the court records later with my VPN due to European privacy laws. It won't let me see it right now, but later I will. It's always a bit of a challenge for the Netherlands to see things. But here we are. We do our best. So I, I look forward to that. Um, so yeah, they investigated a guy who was walking. Oh, did he say a, a whole bunch of dogs? I just pictured a guy with lots of dogs. Okay, guy walking lots of dogs. They found him, able to rule him out. And also the biological father of Griselda's other son, which shame. Like he lost his mom and his brother. Wow. Mary says that was an awesome day. I mean, that was that day was so freaking intense on oh my word. So if you missed the morning session, please do go check that out. I will be doing timestamps uh, for the morning and this one as well soon. Sometimes I wait for it to process. YouTube first processes everything, then I'll do it the next morning. But for you, at least it's already you in America. You're sleeping by the time the timestamps are done. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, that just ended that stream. So thank you to KGNS TV 8 in Laredo, Texas for that stream. I feel like the sound was a little bit better today. I think so. Even though we always boosted, it just seemed like that was good. Wow. So, okay. There's not much I can really debrief now besides like, <laughs> I think we all feel the same. It's like a bit of deer in the headlights. That was a lot. Um, but wow. Detective Raimundo Garcia. Whew, what a witness. And then let's see. So I think then tomorrow they're going to rest their case. That's what it sounds like, right? I think so. Because you see, Eduardo said the defense attorney may, <laughs> may approach. I think it would have been we rest our case <laughs> if it was like, yeah, we're good. We passed the witness, passed the witness. Okay, we rest our case. But Eduardo is like, um, excuse me, can we approach? And they're like, oh, man. The judge is like, that's it. We're calling it a day. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I think that's when that day just ended. Which, I mean, Eduardo has got to do his job. His name really is Eduardo, for people still wondering. He's got to do his job, you know? So if I was the defense side now, I would say, well, how exactly did you interview the person with all the dogs? Because you say you spoke to him, but how were you able to rule him out, huh? huh? How do you know it's not that guy, you see? <laughs> I mean, yes. Is Drip Drop in the chat? <laughs> Someone's saying Drip Drop. If Drip Drop is in the chat, hello. Crime Curious, it's so nice to see you in the chat. Great stream today, thank you. Thank you for, for coming here and chatting and watching with us. Wow. Okay, wait, I'm scrolling up to see who said drip drop. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you so much. Please remember to send lots of love. I mean, just like energy wise to the family and the friends. Oh my word, they are going through so much. And today was tough. Today was so tough. They showed some of that um, crime scene video. Whoa. Today during the trial. And they, all these texts. I mean, these texts must be a, a shock to some family members. I mean, even for me, it felt, I, I could see people in the chat were saying they're getting really anxious, right? And I was starting to also get like, oh my word, this is so uncomfortable because you, you're literally hearing the back and forth and we know the end of the story there. Well, not the end. Okay. The end is going to be him. <laughs> bye bye. But you know what I mean? Oh man. So it's, it's kind of tense and intense to listen to all the messages back and forth and just how he treated her. Oh no. Horrible. Karen says, mods and Grizzly True Crime. Yes, thank you so much, mods, for everything you do. Thank you to everyone who's buying uh, coffees for the mods as well. Really appreciate it. Um, and so, <laughs> Hunting for Truth says, Drip Drop is amazing. Well, if Drip Drop's here, then hi. Hi, Drip Drop. <laughs> Unless someone just said it randomly. So, yes. Shortcake says, thank you, Grizzly True Crime, including Mr. Fury. Yeah, he's fast asleep now. Um so I will see you tomorrow. Let me quickly set that stream up. Just give me a second. Just give me one second. Then this stream can lead you to that one. How about that? How about that? We're going to make that public now. Day seven morning. That's tomorrow. I just still have a feeling that they're going <laughs> to they will rest the case. Then tomorrow is what I'm thinking. Let's make it for 345 p.m. That's my time. My time. 845 a.m. Texas time. And then I'm I just don't know if the defense, do you really think they're going to carry on for days and days? This was supposed to be a trial of like three to four weeks. I'm like, by Friday, they might rest their case, both sides. Jury deliberates Friday night. Huh? <laughs> that would be amazing. In, like, just like, okay, the jury is going to deliberate. Out they go. Oh, my word. They've turned around. In they come. Okay, we reached a verdict. <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, so I made the stream public for tomorrow. Let me quickly put it uh, next stream here. Next stream here. Let's see who gets there first. <laughs> People are like, I'll race you there. Beth and Alaska, uh, thank you for being a supporter for two months. Really appreciate it. Thank you to all the new members. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for all the, you know, all the love. You guys are so sweet. The All the support. If you want to know how to support, grizzlytruecrime at gmail.com. And actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I just want to show you something because people were asking throughout the chat. This is my website, right? I made it myself. <laughs> yes, when I did, I, I was very proud of it and said it a little bit much. I'm like, I made it myself, you guys. <laughs> Do you remember? So anyway, um, and Van, who's in the chat, who's a mod, made all this AI art. Huh? 
van a chimp. Okay, so check it out. Look at the deep dives. Isn't that cute? Look at the bear who's a judge. Look at document time, map time, grizzly true crime. Okay, so we are growing. I've got to update that actually. FAQs. There you go. You guys were asking about FAQs. There it is. What's with the grizzly bear theme? You see, all your questions, well, most, will be answered here. And yeah, so you can just navigate through the website, grizzlytruecrime.com support. You'll see it there. And you can find, buy me a coffee, buy the mods a coffee, because everyone's asking, how do we buy mods a coffee? There you go, right there. Become a patron, come on over. And that's the rest you can navigate yourself. <laughs> so thank you so much for spending the day with me. It was great, as always. And to all the family and friends that are watching, know that this is a safe space. We, we support you. Please keep uh, sharing in the comments as well. Purple hearts, white ribbons, baby Yoda to show them lots of support. Okay. <laughs> I'm chicken cake. Jury walks right back in and the foreman's holding a needle all ready to go. Oh my word. Imagine it. Sassy girl says he needs to plea and change his mind. I mean, I was thinking for a second there. Defense attorney Boggs looked really uncomfortable. I mean, at one point he almost jumped up like that. I'm like, whoa, what's he going to say? So... I just thought he's going to be like, that's it. Call it a day. I'm going to plead because he can. He can actually change his uh, plea anytime until before a verdict is reached from what we discovered on day one. Dogtopia, welcome to Grizzly membership. Please check out the members only playlist. And now let's quickly set this up so that this will lead you to the next one. Are you ready? <laughs> You'll be like, wait, wait. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I'll turn slow mode off for the outro. Then you can chat as fast as you want. How about that? Okay. Slow mode's going off. So have fun in the outro, okay? <laughs> I shall see you tomorrow, you guys. Thank you so much. It's nap time now. Like, not map time. Nap time. <laughs> okay, bye.